Hey guys, so I finally managed to get hold of the Blender Secrets ebook. I was always intrigued by it based on all the rave reviews, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it, and I've also managed to get hold of an affiliate link as well, which you can find in the description below. It won't cost you anything extra, but it will help support the channel. All right, so let's have a look what we've got. So I've got the ability to download the ebooks if I want to read those offline. Uh, we've also got all the recent topics listed, as Jan is constantly adding new updates all the time. And then we've got the modeling basics and things. And it, it's a massive, it's a, I wasn't expecting, but it's absolutely, it's huge. It's a huge number. Each one of these, by the way, not only is it a, a section of a book, but each one actually contains a video as well. So if we click on one of these, for example, you can see we've got a video at the top we can watch through. And all these are really short. And then underneath, after we've watched the video, if we need to, we can actually read through uh, you know the the steps if necessary. All right, so let's try and find something cool to do then. So let's do Control F. Maybe we'll search for explosion, cell fracture explosion. So, like I said, we've got the video. Let's watch the video first. Turn on object cell fracture in preferences. Select your object and go to object quick effects cell fracture. These are the settings I used. Click OK to apply the fracturing. The original object remains, but we can move it to the side for now. Select one shard and go to Object Rigid Body Add Active. Set Collision Shape to Mesh and Surface Response Friction to 1. Select the other shards and then the rigid body shard. Go to rigid body, copy from active. Now if you play the simulation by pressing the spacebar, the cube will explode. Cool, so that seems pretty straightforward. Let's have a go. So let's initially, I think it was edit, into the preferences, into the add-ons. Uh, Blender's changed a little bit now. The, the add-ons that you don't have yet, are in the extension so that you download them. So I'll just type it in here instead. So cell fracture, we'll install it. And then in the add-ons, it should appear now and it's enabled. So we'll close that down. And incidentally, this is another great thing about this product is that Jan, he constantly keeps it updated. So there's thousands of pages which he goes through and he makes sure that if anything's changed in Blender, it'll get those topics updated, making this a future investment. Now, he cares so much that if he does miss a few, which is obviously possible with this many topics, he's purposefully put a comment box beneath each topic so that you can let him know of any small discrepancies and he'll get those changed straight away, which is great because it means you're not just buying a book for the current version of Blender. This is going to serve you well into the future as well. So I'll just leave him a quick message and I guarantee that when you come to read this, that will be updated. And I'll quickly create the geometry. Okay, so next up, it was into the object and we needed to, was it an object? And this is where this is really handy. We can, if we forget something in the video, we can just quickly refer to it in here. And one nice touch as well that Jan's thought of is because he probably realizes that people are going to split the screen up like this and you can't minimize this panel. In addition to being able to download the video individually, as you can see, there's a download link under the video. At the bottom of each one, you can just click on the PDF. So click on the PDF, choose open, and then it's going to open it immediately and you've got rid of that side panel. So you've got much more space. All right, so the next thing to do then, so quick effects. So with the object chosen, we're going to object, quick effects, cell fracture. And I would never have remembered all of these options. So this is again where this format of learning is really good. So let's just quickly copy these. Okay, and then we'll click on OK. And you can see it's fractured the object. And he moves it to the side, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press M, New Collection, Fractured. And that'll just separate it for us. And we can just hide the cube, the original. And what does he do next? He adds a rigid body to one of them. So let's click on one of them. And we're going to Object, Rigid Body. Rigid body, add active. And next up, 
and then you just set some settings. So we're going to the physics panel and he changed this to mesh. He changed friction on the surface response to one. I think that was it. Yeah. It's really handy how he highlights these as well. So you don't have to spend ages looking around trying to find them. And now he's done that. We just select all of the other ones. So I'll just right click on here. I'll do select objects in this con uh, collection. And then we'll just do object, rigid body, and copy from active. So it's going to copy the settings from this one, from the active one, the yellow one, onto the selected red one. And now each of these is going to have that, um, you know, the physics setup the same. Now if you press play, it says, by pressing the space bar, the cube will explode. Let's see if it works. Yep, excellent. So very quickly, you can learn something completely new. And, uh, you know, you can also fiddle with the settings to get the exact explosion you want. Probably want to also, on the floor, make this a rigid body and set this to passive. And uh, let's just press play. And now we get in, you know, the landing on the actual plane. So on a whole, I think this book is really impressive because it covers a huge array of topics. You can learn something new whenever you want, or you can use it as a reference if you've forgotten how to do something, which most people will do because there's just so much to learn in Blender. And uh, yeah, I think it's a brilliant purchase. It's uh, really good, top quality. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.